Hey everyone, I know this is super late, but I wanted to share my awesome con vlog. Now this was my very first time flying out to a convention, my first time on the East Coast and in DC. So yeah, a lot of firsts and my first time in the air in a long time. I don't get to fly a lot to these conventions. I always drive whenever I get the chance, even if it's like 10 hours to get to a show because it just makes more sense. Uh, you save more money, but uh, look at those clouds. The clouds were freaking phenomenal out there because the wildfires in Canada might be messing with those clouds. There's haze everywhere. We were kind of worried we wouldn't be able to land because of all the haze, but luckily it was just clear enough on that part of the country at that time, so we were good. For our first con on the East Coast, awesome con in DC. How was it? Let's go over that. Maybe my tips and tricks will help you if you're an artist, if you are considering doing awesome con. It was in June this year, but I hear next year they're going to move it back to March. Cons in the spring tend to be better sales-wise um, for many reasons. You can probably figure them out. One of my favorite parts about this kind of city, big cities in general, is the public transit system is phenomenal. You don't need to rent a car you don't, or pay for parking. Just take the metro subway. It was a, a train that goes straight from the airport to the convention center, like 10 minutes for $2. I wish more cities had cheap or free public transit like this. Anyway, here's my display. A cozy little corner on the middle of the show floor, basically. I was very happy with my spot. The crowd itself took a while to get to my spot, being in the middle of the show floor. I felt bad for the people at the very end, but I guess that's how the flow of traffic normally works. The VIPs will come in a little bit early, right? But then it will take up to three hours for people to reach you once they're weaving back and forth through all of the vendors and other artists. But once they get to you, will they have any for spending money for you who knows it's tough to predict that sort of thing when you do conventions especially if they're far from home but if you live within three to five hours or less driving distance and you're local to the area definitely do this show i feel like you'll do a lot better than we did oh and by the way that's where spider-man lives he moved to dc who knew we were fortunate enough to get a hotel room just two blocks north of the convention center walking distance with a spectacular view of the city you could see the u.s capitol building from that rooftop balcony it was amazing not so amazing though the price for breakfast at this place was 20 dollars per person not so awesome but say what you will about dc and the grumpy people but awesome con had an awesome show floor. It was one of the most diverse and just beautifully set up show floors. Even though there were some grumpy people out there and not a lot of spenders, I just want to shout out all the Walter White's, Jesse Pinkman's, and Oscar Langley's that bought my Breaking Bad art right at the end of the show. You guys came in clutch and made it worth it. It was so cool chatting with you guys. Shout out to this amazing chicken sandwich. I don't remember what the restaurant was called, but we went to it with our good friends. It's Mandy Mo and Cosdoma. We had a tough time at this show. It, it could have gone better for a lot of us, I feel. Maybe it will be better for everyone who does it next year in the spring, but this year was rough. So we went out and we had an artist dinner and we vented and we had a good time to make up for it. So it was really nice hanging out with you guys. And it was especially nice to come home to this little guy. It's always good coming home after a long trip to your furry friends, right? If you are an artist and you want to see more of these artist vlogs, thank you so much for watching. If you're just checking this channel out for fun, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this content, please subscribe and let me know in the comments. And if you just want to see many more of my little artist adventures, stick around. All right, we'll see you in the next one.